Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and this reading is going to be for Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what messages will come up for you guys, Pisces. Now, in case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below if you want. We'll see where's your relationship going with your current person. Are you guys going to unite or not? Okay, and all that. And what about new lover, if there is any? Okay, looks like Pisces, you're walking away from somebody. Let's see. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, what do we have for Pisces? I like it. <laughs> Pisces, from what I can see, I feel like you're hopeful about something. But the thing is that you are not feeling very courageous to uh, take that, you know, bold move forward towards something. Okay. It's like you just want to take a step back. I also feel like you're a bit, you know, it's like, it's almost like a feeling of, you know, relationships are not for me. I don't want to be, you know, dealing with the wrong person. Every time I am with somebody, it's like, what do I actually get? So there's a sense of feeling lonely and overly withdrawn from things. I'm going to be very honest with you. I just feel like Pisces, you want to be left alone. You want to be left alone. And ask me. Ask me. I'm a Pisces. I know what is this. The Hermit reverse, Page of Wands reverse, and the star energy. <laughs> um... But I've always been like this, so I don't know if this is a phase that you guys are going through right now or you are, you know, already like that. Um, I don't know, man. This is like that energy of Pisces. You just want to be left alone. It's like there's some ambition, there's some goal, there's some dream that you really want to work towards. But there's also somebody that you just don't want to deal with. Okay, and when it comes to love, I, I really don't feel like Pisces, you're very uh, you're very hopeful, I would say, about love right now. The star is, uh, you know, this energy of healing for you guys from what I am seeing. Look at this, um, the Wheel of Fortune energy with the Five of Cups. I, I do feel like Pisces, for the longest time, you have been sad about something. But now you're, you know, now you have released resistance. Now you're like, okay, this is how it is. Then this is how it is. You're keeping your faith in God, in universe, whatever it is that you believe in. And you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Okay. I will clarify these energies. So don't worry. Oh, Yikes, Pisces, looks like you tried to make things right in a certain way with somebody, but it turned out to be completely, oh, now I know why you felt like, you know, you just don't want to be dealing with this. Okay, for now, I feel like you're doing what you believe in doing. You're, you know, you're focusing on your goals. Some of you are reading books. Some of you, it's, it's like that path to self-development, Pisces. Um, I feel like Pisces, you opened up to somebody in love and it just, it resulted in some bull crap. I'm going to be very honest with you. And then you were like, you know what? This is the reason why I want to be left alone. And I feel like you are placing your bet on you, on the universe, on God. You're having faith. Okay. But this is something that you are definitely not, it's, I don't feel like you're going to be the one who actively initiates and tries to make things right, which is why your energy is the strength in the Hermit Reverse. 
I feel like you already have the answers that you need within you. And there's a little bit of that disappointed energy of why didn't I listen to myself if I knew this? Okay. Some of you want to be in a relationship, a committed relationship, or at least, you know, where the other person shows that they care about you. Your person's energy, the Seven of Cups reverse Pisces. Oh, look at your outcome here <laughs> with the King of Cups. Um, okay. I heard defending yourself. So what is that about? We'd have to see. Um, Pisces, Ace of Wands energy. <laughs> Your person wants to come back. This is somebody who was previously acting like they're too busy for you. This was somebody who was a bit of a scatterbrain in the past, you know, a bit confused. But I feel like right now with the Ace of Wands energy, they're feeling very inspired to reach out and talk. And I feel like this is also coming in um, from a sense of uh, wondering about you. <laughs> okay. This is somebody who's very interested in you now. For a lot of you Pisces out there, I feel like there are multiple people who could be interested in you, but you're interested in one or you were interested in one. The thing is that you have, you know, this moon energy towards it uh, and the seven of wands. It's almost like Pisces, you're done fighting for yourself uh, in the connection and for the connection. Okay, you're done fighting for this. You're done uh, defending yourself. You're done proving a point. And whenever you think about this situation, it gives you, oh, it gives you a mixed feeling whether you want to go back or no, Pisces. At this time, Pisces, do trust your intuition. Do trust your intuition. I'm going to clarify this because your advice and what's happening next is a bit, it, this is a bit strange. Five of Wands to the Seven of Wands. But your outcome is the King of Cups. So we will see why is that. Okay. Let's actually get a different deck to clarify. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces, please? What do we have for Pisces? Tell me about the strength energy for Pisces. Tell me about the strength energy for Pisces. Four of Wands uh, with Three of Pentacles. This is about stability, Pisces. This is about reaching a goal, um, working on building a firm foundation for yourself. So I feel like you're preserving your energy for things in your life that actually matter. So that is nice. Why the Hermit Reverse? I like it. This is a lot of patience and self-love, if I'm going to be very honest with you. The justice. Uh, some of you could be avoiding a Libra or a Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, whoever. Somebody who has ignored you previously. But right now, Pisces, I feel like you're doing the right thing and you're keeping things balanced. Um, for some reason, being withdrawn is what is bringing you more balance. You don't want to be dealing with any, um, you know, unnecessary stuff right now. It's a sense of, you know, you just wanted to take a break and mentally as well, you felt very exhausted somewhere. So it's for your own highest good. Tell me about that justice energy. Oh, it's connected to walking away, perhaps walking away from somebody who has been very sneaky. And I think this is the hardest thing to do here, but this is the right thing to do. And, you know, sometimes it makes you feel lonely. Sometimes you miss the person. But again, this is like that energy of loving yourself enough to walk away from something that just doesn't serve you anymore. Some of you could be avoiding a Libra. Let's see why the page of wands reverse. Wheel of Fortune again. So you have this double Wheel of Fortune energy here, um, Pisces. Um, how is this possible? 
that the wheel of fortune is your overall energy and the wheel of fortune again is over here with the page of wands reverse this is like okay let me just explain this if i can this is like I believe that things are going to be fine again, but then being like, but actually I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of being hopeful. I'm tired of hoping and wishing and let's just not hope even that things are going to be fine. Let's just keep it out of neutral, you know, this is what your energy is like. But the more impactful energy here is the Wheel of Fortune in your overall, not the Page of Wands reverse and the Wheel of Fortune right next to it. So I also feel like the reason why you don't want to be working on something is the reason why, you know, it's like I don't want to work on this anymore. I don't want to feel this anymore because I feel like I need to walk away from this, first of all, to be able to make a better decision for myself. And secondly, to just find myself and my balance, point blank period. You see? Tell me about the star energy. Oh, too many clarifications for the star. Ace of Swords reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you feel like uh, you've been lied to in a love situation. Um, but you're still trying to grow. It's like you were offering somebody so much, but you still, you know, somebody lied to you. I feel like Pisces kind of say this. You're moving forward, but you don't have the clarity of mind that much. It's like you're moving forward regardless of whatever is happening. And you are manifesting good money and a wish fulfillment. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Lovers in the nine of swords. This love connection is connected to stress. Um, tell me about the five of swords here. Four of swords. Yeah, taking a break from this, you know. Somebody who plays mind games. Somebody who is all about winning and very egocentric, you know, coming from a place of ego always. And I feel like Pisces, whether that be in, you know, in your relationship or your friendship situation. Moving into the future, you have the Tower energy with the Seven of Pentacles. This talks about... Let me actually see. Ooh, I'm going to show you the this in a bit. This is what fell from the deck for you. This is, okay. Pisces, uh, the tower with the seven of pentacles here. I feel like things are about to change for you guys. But before that change happens, something is going to fall apart. Sadly. Okay. from what I can see at least. Okay. Something here is falling apart. But it is for your own highest good. Now, let me tell you, the Hierophant here is clarified by the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, which is like, the ultimate ultimate this is the kind of a love that you want and this is the kind of a love that you're hoping for right uh you're open to this kind of a relationship not you know playing mind games and stuff and i feel like this is something you are manifesting in the future which i will clarify in the extended if there's new love coming your way and you know what about that more but for now i can see that you will find somebody new again you will but it's always then, you know, then the past person comes back. And, you know, I have to address this here. I really don't care what you will say, but I'll say this, that when your past person shows up in your energy, a lot of people comment, I don't want to hear about that person. 
I don't want to hear about that person. Talk about the new person. Well, then um, I have to take some context from the past. And you don't tell me how to read or what to do here. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I said something like this before as well. And then I got a comment. Oh, I sent some attitude there. Well, whatever. Okay. The thing is that, oh, I don't even feel like explaining myself, but the thing is that, please, if you don't want to hear about your ex, then there are other things that I'm talking about in the reading. Hear that and leave it for somebody who maybe is interested in the past. Why do people have to make, ev ev you know, people have to make everything about themselves? No, honey, it's not about you. This reading does not have your name written on it, Okay. Or none of my readings have your name written on it. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, I'm just like. Now people will be like, oh, look at the, this reader. Like, is that how she talks? I don't want to talk. I don't want to even listen. Let me just unsubscribe. Well, it's your choice. <laughs> um, I really don't care. I mean, I'm at this point where I don't care. I really don't. Anyways, um, let's see what is this past person's energy to uh, clarify more. Why is this person being like this? Let's see, Pisces. Why is this person being like this? And I always talk th about these things in Pisces readings because I feel like Pisces people are more accepting of what I have to say than any other sign and maybe Capricorn um, and Libra I think these three signs are very um, accepting of what I have to say normally <sighs> okay oh what is up with this person Pisces sometimes they act like they don't want you but then they want you look at that ace of wands there's that double ace of wands energy when I say Pisces this person's attracted to you physically it's no joke. It's no joke. And the reason why you get mixed feelings because of this person is because, you know, some of you feel like they're just using you for things. It is so it's. I feel like Pisces, you will not really give in to this unless you know what this person truly is about. And I feel like right now, Pisces, you're trying to make things clear for yourself in your life. You're searching for clarity. You're not searching for more confusion. That is already something that has stemmed from the past. You don't want to be searching for that anymore. From what I can see, at least. Tell me about the King of Cups in the future for Pisces. <sighs> Pisces, there are two different people coming towards you. Or it could be the same person. Damn, they have two, two personalities. To me, it looks like Pisces, there's love showing up here, but there is a very, um, let's just have fun kind of an energy too. Again, I am getting that these are two different people, Pisces. Okay, so take it however it resonates for you guys. Take it however it resonates, seriously. I really feel like there's somebody coming in. At this time, a lot of people are interested in you. Let me tell you that. And I am seeing more than one person reaching out. Why the Ten of Swords as Pisces advice with the Five of Wands? Now let's get to the juicy part of the reading. Your advice. I kid you not, Pisces. I, When I was pre-shuffling, I kept seeing the King of Swords and I wondered who this person was. So this is your advice. If you're tired of something, Pisces, if you're tired of giving your energy in a certain situation that further only depletes you, you need to detach from something. And this is a serious message. You seriously need to decide about something and detach from something. You need to be clear with your choices. There's no room for what ifs and buts anymore. Why the five of wands? Why the five of wands for Pisces? 
strength reverse and the nine of swords so the thing is that over here you have the strength energy upright and coming in the five of wands is the strength reverse and the nine of swords okay so it looks like you know this is you staying in your lane and then comes somebody who just wants to ruin it for you okay this is somebody who is coming in unnecessarily bringing drama and the next thing you know pisces you don't even feel that confident anymore because you listen to this person who's just too low of a life okay <laughs> who is this person this is somebody in your environment or this is a love situation i'm not sure pisces somebody tests you like you can be all you can be strong all day but when this person comes in or whoever this is there i feel like people are unnecessarily competing with you pisces people are unnecessarily being envious of you uh when you're not even honestly i don't feel like you're caring you're just moving on from things but there are people who are mad and i feel like these people are in your environment in your workspace or in your uh, friends there is some envious energy here I heard somebody wants to make you sad. Oh, that's deep. So Pisces, you need strong boundaries, especially when this kind of an energetically draining human being comes in your life, whether that be a person, past person or anybody. People are trying to bring you down. Seven of Wands energy. That's why I said defend yourself and fighting for yourself. See, I said that in the beginning. That's why your energy here is the King of Swords and should be, I should say, the King of Swords. This is your advice. Um, you have to stand up for yourself and you have to be clear with something here that I feel like this King of Swords energy is your advice because you keep giving people a lot of chances and then they you just keep giving them a chance to, I'm going to say that, to fuck you over. And when they do, then you sit there and be like, oh, you know, now I don't even feel like that anymore. Now I'm sad again. So don't let anybody come in and tell you what to do or ruin your happiness or take away from you your sense of self again because you've already done it in the past. And what you're manifesting in the future, look at that Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, this hangman energy. There is a need for you to find a reason for why something was stuck. And the reason why, from what I can see, it was stuck was Pisces because it wasn't even meant for you in the first place. Okay, so moving into the future, I see you manifesting better things. And I want you to focus on those. Okay. Now let me see. What do we have for Pisces? I'm trying to get you some messages. Okay. All right. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over and over in your head. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. It's time to stop revisiting the past or like I said, it's, this is not the time for what if and what, you know, the blah, 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 blah. This is also a mini King of Swords energy. The snake, look at this competition, enemy, clever. There is somebody around you who you need to be very careful of, Pisces. And that is sad that people are like that. And what's my take on people like that who are envious of you or there's a sense of jealousy? Because honestly, I feel like it stems from insecurity. Okay. Um, when you look at somebody and you feel like they shouldn't have what they have or why don't you have what they have? First of all, let's just break it down. And welcome to my TED Talk. Let's just break it down you feel like you cannot have what they have okay so there is a sense of insecurity right there uh you're putting that them above yourself of course you think very highly of the person you're envious about or jealous of um so 
that and next up you know you care too much about that person you care too much to to wonder what they're up to and to bring them down and stuff and if people only put that energy back on their life and focusing on their passion and goals they would be but you know they would be better off and i really don't understand why people want to live their life uh, wanting to be somebody else or uh, coping somebody else I never understood that. Can't relate. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, sadness, missing you. I feel like Pisces, you're on to better things in your life. You're rebuilding a, you know, a new life for yourself. You're moving on from things. You're working on yourself. And there's somebody who's missing you. So love is showing up, money is showing up. But again, there's somebody else showing up who I warned you about, okay? So that's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that popped out for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed being here. And check out the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. Is there any new lover? What about the past one? Where is that going? What does spirit want you to know and stuff? So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below if you want. Take care, Pisces, and bye-bye.